Here's a project update and history for the slings I make from the movie Aliens. Now, in the movie Aliens, the slings used British military hardware. Uh, these don't have a nomenclature. These are off the M58 or Pattern 58 equipment. And the slings in the movie were OD green and they had eight panels on the fabric. So it's taken me a long time to find this fabric, but I finally eventually did. So previously, I had been selling slings for $5 or $8 or sometimes as much as like $15 depending on my suppliers. So originally there's these US military um, general purpose strap. Sometimes they're called canteen straps. They've appeared on lots of equipment from like M60 machine gun barrel bags to uh, two liter canteens, field phones. It's just a general purpose strap. So in the 1950s, there's this, this canvas one, which is a little bit softer, and sometimes these are made out of brass, sometimes made out of stainless steel. And the 1980s-ish one, it's made out of nylon. It has the same hardware, but the sewing pattern is going to be slightly different. These all have a box, and these are more of a uh, cross with a zigzag. And sometimes you can read the, the stamping or not. So that's the canvas 1950s one. We're gonna set that aside. Here's the 1980s one. Uh, these hooks are a little more angular rather than the rounder 1950s. <coughs> so what I did for a little while was I took um, the US canvas straps or the nylon straps, like this one's dated 84, and I unsewed the US hooks and I sewed in the, uh, the British hooks. And I sold these as the um, the improved screen accuracy slings. So there's a few of those out there. And sometimes I used the original um, British hardware, and this is cast. But unfortunately, these are hard to come by, so sometimes I found these, which are the new production ones, and they're a little bit thinner. And uh, on the inside, it's uh, stamped and rolled in, so that's uh, pretty structurally sound, but unfortunately, there were some aftermarket uh, clips or clasps, however you want to say this, and they're made rather cheaply, so it's really thin, and it's just one piece of stamped steel, so I could probably just like crush this with my hand or with a pair of pliers fairly easily, and it's rather thin, not only compared to like the new um, stamped sheet metal that I'm told these are actual military hardware, but the old cast ones, they're just so, made so much better. So some of those slings I sold had like these on it, in any case, if you have any of the improved screen accuracy slings that I made, regardless of what hardware it is, go ahead and send it back and I will exchange it for the new, like 100% screen accurate sling. I, I have enough of these in stock where I can do that. So um, I'm going to eventually strip this off and uh, because I have some of these um, clasps that are not accurate, we're going to also make non-accurate slings. So if you want a sling in say black or pink, I can also do that. So um, this is eight panel material. So this looks pretty good. Um, I found some pink, but this is also, this is seven panel. So if you got a pink pulse rifle, if you're doing like some girly uh, pulse rifle or just some, you know, whatever uh, pink weapon you want. If you want a pink sling, I got pink slings for you. Now, before I found the correct olive drab, eight panel material I found some Ranger green seven panel which this does look very good if uh, closer matches the brown vest of a pulse rifle rather than the olive drab green does so I made as many as these as I could and they sold out very fast this was my prototype this was a little bit shorter than the other slings so when I got this back I did a review to the tailor and I'm like let's add you know a few more inches into it so we can get like all the way from 32 to 46 inch um, variation on adjustment. So I'm keeping this one for myself for reference. If I can get more of this Ranger Green, I'm going to go ahead and buy it, even though it's seven panel and not eight, but just like the color looks really good. And um, the sliders, I'm gonna cover this, because the sliders in, this, in the movie, they had both of these um, two slot sliders in the movie. So we're reproducing slings with those, which obviously it's a lot stronger than the um, like the smaller little one loop like these have on the uh, 1950s and 1980s slings. So we're using these sliders on both ends, just like in the movie, which 
it's going to be a lot a lot stronger than with the you know the cast British clips. These are a lot stronger than the U.S. ones. If we're just going to do a side by side comparison, so if you've got like the Hollywood collectibles pulse rifle and you're doing like a Ripley costume, you got the pulse rifle and the flamethrower. That's a lot of weight on a sling, and I'd be pretty cautious about using one of these slings because this might break. So with all that extra weight, I would definitely want to have like one of my slings. Um, I don't plan to do a destructive testing on it, but I might actually in the future sometime. So there's that. And then here are like the screen accurate slings. So, you know, there are other guys that sell them like uh, Noble, but I've been after him for many years, over a decade trying to get a, like two slings from him. So that's why I've gone into production, making my own slings. Now the problem is um, I'm having a hell of a hard time trying to find more of this hardware and that's a limiting factor. So I do have a supplier for the sliders. I have a tactical tailor that can make uh, sew all this up for me. So I do have more supply. This is like a new production material. I can have more of these made. Um, just the problem is getting enough of these clasps. So they, they're all surplus. Some of them look very new and some of them are really worn out. So I've got a, a very small selection of these. If you want black or purple, I've got a small selection on hand and it'd probably be best to you know, place an order and I will have them made for you ahead of time. And there's a small lead time on this. Um, pretty good turnaround. And many of you will be familiar with my sling adapter for uh, Airsoft Pulse Rifle, which obviously would go good with these slings and there's installation videos. This is my last sling adapter, so sorry I can't sell this. I need this for reference. I have these hand parts loose and that fits very snugly. And yes, we can attach the sling to this and even like the heavier cast clasp will go right through that. We'll have no problem hooking my, my slings to, uh, to my little invention here.